masu sauraro barka da hantsi a cikin shirin za ku ji cewa shugaba Biden ya bayyana tattaunawar su ta Francisco da shugaba Xi Jinping na China a matsayin ganawar da ake sarin ta kasance mafi alfano a gare su wani binciken BBC ya gano yadda wani babban jami'in sojin Burtaniya ya rika boye bayanin wato bayanin hujjojin zargin aika ta laifukan yaki a Afghanistan an kuma tattaro shaidu dake nuna yadda gwamnatin Kremlin ta rasha ke tilasta a mazauna yankunan Ukraine su koma cika kwai yan kasar ta a Nigeria kuma yan kasar ne ke bayyana yadda ci gaba da hawon farashin kai yake ke shafar rayuwar su ana fama kan da hawar farashi kawai dai abin da zamu ce sai dai mai ta addu'a in daga wajen shawa gabanni ne in kuma daga Allah ne dai duk addu'a da ya kamata a ci ayi komai ya yi tsada yanzu wallahi biredi ya yi tsada indomi ta yi tsada wallahi kai in shago ma ya yi tsada sunana umai masana abdul mu'min kuma zan so mu shirin ne da cikakkun labaran duniya shugaba Biden ya bayyana tattaunawar su ta San Francisco da shugaban China Xi Jinping a matsayin tsarariyar ganawar da ake sarin ta kasance mafi alfano a gare su a lokacin da yake jawabi a wajen wani taro wanda Mr Xi bai halarta ba Mr Biden ya ce kasashen biyu sun amince su dawo da tattaunawar ayyukan soji a matakin kololuwa United States will continue to compete vigorously with the PRC. Biden ke ne ke nuna cewa musayar bayane kai tsaye ba tare da boye boye bana da muhimmanci wajen hana abkuwar matsaloli da rashin fahimtar juna a tsakanin su. Mr Biden ya kuma shirye cewa sun amince a dakile shigar da kwayar fentanyl ga China zuwa Amurka. Sannan kasashen biyu za kuma su aiki tare wajen rage barazanar amfani da kirkirar basira ta artificial intelligence ko AI. Mr. Xi ya ce dangantaka tsakanin China da Amurka na da mutukar muhimmanci ga duniya. Komitin tsaro na majalisar dinkin duniya ya amince da kudirin da ya bukaci a gaggauta tsawaita tsagaita wato wuta domin gudanar da ayyukan agaji a Gaza. Ya ce matakin tsagaita wuta na kwanaki zai bada damar kai agaji ga mabukata. Rarely focused on the humanitarian situation with Israel. What did the American hankali ne kan bukatar agaji zalla babu batun neman daurawa Isra'ila ko Hamas laifi. Wani shine karo na farko da committee ya kokarin amincewa da wannan kira tun so malgudan wutar Isra'ila a matsayin martani kan kashe mata mutane da Hamas tai a cikin watan Oktoba. Isra'ila ta alƙawarin gabatar da shaidar dake tabbatar da zargin ta cewa akwai sashen da Hamas ke gudanar da ayyuka a cibiyar lafiya mafi girma a Gaza bayan samaman da sojojin ta suka kai a ginin asibitin Al-Shifa a ranar Laraba akwai rahotanni da ke nuna cewa ta rurusa wasu bangarori na asibitin sai dai sojojin Isra'ila har yanzu basu gabatar da sahihan shaidu da ke nuna hanyar da Hamas ke bi wajen mafaka ko gudanar da ayyukanta a karkashin ginin asibitin ba amma dai sun fitar da wani bidiyo da ba a tabbatar da sahihancin sa ba da ke nuna makaman da Isra'ila ta ce a cikin asibitin aka gano su We don't enter a hospital lightly there has to be a serious reason Mai kyawa Prime Minister Isra'ila kenan ke cewa ba su shiga asibiti haka kawai sai da dalilai kuma wannan na nuna karara ana amfani da asibitin wajen sarrafawa da tara manyan makamai Hamas dai ta musanta wadannan zarge zarge to kuna shi wadannan labarin duniyar ne kai tsiye daga nan sashin Hausa na BBC. An tattaro shaidu dake nuna yadda gwamnatin Kremlin ta ta rasha ke gangamin tilastawa mazauna yankunan Ukraine da ta mamaye su soma ko su koma cikakkun yan rasha. Ana amfani da hanyar hana su kulawar lafiya da yancin zirga zirga har sai sun amince da suke ambatar rasha a matsayin kasar su. Kungiyar binciken kwakwafta yan jarida a yankunan tarayya Turai ta tattauna da yan gudun hijira wajen tattara wannan rahoton sannan kuma sun sheda yadda ake tilasta musu aiki yaran su makarantun da rasha ta kwace kuma take iko da su inda ake koyar da su darasan da suka shafi lalata kimar Ukraine wani binciken BBC ya gano wani babban jami'i wanda shine na biyu mafi girman makami a aikin soji da karban bayanan hujjojin zargin aika ta laifukan yaki a Afghanistan amma ya gaza ya sanar da sojoji an fada Gwen Jenkins a shekara ta 2011 cewa mambobin rundunar ta musamman na bindige mutane da ake tsare da su a cikin an kwa a wannan lokaci ya rubuta cewa akwai bukatar zurfafa bincike kan batun kuma mai makon ya gabatar da shaidun da ake aiki masa sai Jenkins Jenkins ya rufe a cikin wani wajen ajiya har yanzu dai bai ce ofan kan bukatar BBC ne ya tsokaci akan wannan batu ba 
ma'aikatar tsarin Burtaniya da ya tace alhaki ne ya rataya a wuyanta ni nuna goyen bayan al'umma kan binciken binciken aikata kisan gilla to labaran duniyar kenan daga nan sashin Hausa na BBC to ma da la za mu so ma rahotannin namu ne daga Zimbabwe inda wata kotu a can Zimbabwe tai umarnin wata mata yar kasuwa ta biya tare da dalar Amurka dubu biyar saboda yankurin da tayi na fusa kawuran zinari mai nauyin kilogram shida daga kasar a jakarta ta hannu Henrietta Rushwaya wadda ita ce shugabar kungiyar masu hakar ma adane ta kasar an yanke mata hukuncin dauri na watanni 18 wanda aka dakatar kai laifin da tayi a shekara ta 2020 ga dai karin bayani a cikin wannan fassarar rahotan na editan BBC a Africa Will Ross yayin da aka kama Henrietta Rushwaya a filin jirgin sama na Harare tana shirin fita zuwa hadaddiyar daular Larabawa da kilogram shida na zinari a Jakarta sai ta bayar da uziri ta ce bisa kuskure ta dauki Jakarta dake dauke da wannan zinari wanda aka kama ta da shi sai dai alamu sun nuna kotu bata gamsu da wannan uzurin ba dalilin da yasa ta yanke mata hukuncin dauri da kuma tara kenan kotun tana cewa ba ta da hurumin fitar da irin wannan haja daga kasar Masu sukar gwamnatin Zimbabwe sun ce dalilin da yasa aka kasa ta sakeyar ta zuwa gidan yari saboda tana da magoya baya masu karfi a jam'iya mai mulki ana ta sukar shugaba MSM Manon Gwagwa da gaza cika alƙawarin sa na yaki da cin hanci da rashawa kamar yadda ya kamata a kasar a gaida Buhari Muhammad Fageda a fassarar rahoton Wilros To idan muka je Najeriya masana tattalin arziki a kasar ne yake ci gaba da tofa albarkacin bakin su game da wasu alƙalma da hukumar kididdiga ta kasar ta fitar da suka nuna cewa ana samun karuwar hawon farashin kayan abinci a kasar da ta kai kashi 27 cikin 100 wasu masanin dai sun ce ba su mamakin karuwar hawon farashin ba idan aka yi la'akari da wasu matakan tattalin arziki da mahukunta suka dauka ga Ibrahim Isa dauke da karin bayani Masana tattalin arziki a Najeriya sun ce ba wani abun mamaki ta tare da karuwar hauhawar farashin da ake gani a kasar saboda tana da nasaba da matakan tattalin arzikin da gwamnatin kasar ta dauka musamman ma janye tallafin mai da bari kasuwa ta halinta ta fannin hadahadar kudaden waje Dr. Ahmed Adamu masanin tattalin arziki a jami'ar Nile dake Abuja wanda bai yi mamakin hauhawar farashin ba ya ce hauhawar farashin da ake fuskanta a Najeriya na nema ta wuce misali uh, alƙalamar da ake so a gani a kowace ƙasa kada ya wuce kashi 10 bisa 100 sai ga shi ba ma 10 ba ba 15 ba har mun kai 27 wannan ci baya ne ga tattalin arzikin Najeriya kowace ƙasa take da irin wannan alƙalamma so ci baya ne kuma babban kalubale ne kasa take fuskanta sai dai Alhaji Shaibu Idris Mikati da kan yi sharhi akan harkokin tattalin arziki a Najeriya ya ce hawhawar farashin ma bata yi muni ba idan a kwatanta da gibin da janye tallafin mai da sakan mu kasuwar hadahadar kudaden waje mara suka janyo da ana sai da lita 1 naira 170 to yanzu lita 1 ta koma naira 700 in ka dubi gwauran zaben da farashin mai yayi ai za ka kila ba a ninka farashin kudin motar nan ba da ana sayen kowace dala daya da kusan naira 450 dalan nan ta kai ga an sai da ita a hannun ma babban bankin gwamnatin Najeriya ya sai da dala akan naira 900 ta ga an ninka su biyo har da kari a ashe kaga ko hawhawan farashi na kai yake masarufi Allah ya taimake mu farashin bai gwauran zabo ba kaman yanda wa inna matakai da gwamnati ta dauka a Najeriya dai mahukunta musamman ma babban bankin kasar kan yi tsare tsare tare da bayyana manufofi duka da nufin takawa hawhawar farashi birki amma duk da haka matsalar bata kau ba sai dai Dr Ahmed Adamu ya ce hanya mafi ala ita ce Najeriya tai kokarin dogaro da kai sai an dauki matakan da za a bunka su samar da abubuwa ma'ana production kenan a gida Najeriya a dena shigowa da abubuwa da kasashen waje kamar yanzu misali a ce an cire tallafin man Peter har ana bukata ana neman wata shida amma har yanzu ba matakan man Peter a Najeriya idan aka ci gaba da haka to haihuwan farashi zai ci gaba da faruwa a Najeriya idan ka duba abubuwan da farashin sai ya hawa hawa akwai abinci sufuri akwai magunguna biyan haya na gidaje da soron su wanda kuma hakan yasa su ma sai da kayayyaki su ma suke awala farashi domin suma inda suke so abubuwan su da suma ya kara tsada 
so duka sai an samar da abubuwan da muke bukata a cikin gida Najeriya saboda idan aka ci gaba da haka talauci zai kara mutane yawa naira ta kara rage daraja masu sa hannun jari ya kara nisa ga Najeriya idan da cewa anan lokacin da ya kamata masu sa hannun jari su zo Najeriya su gadin cewa dala ta yi kasa da karaman kudin su na kasashen waje da sai shiga gida Najeriya amma ko ba su zuwa saboda idan ma suka samu naira din to kullun naira ta kwana kara rage daraja take yi Baya ga samar da abubuwan bukata a cikin gida masanan sun ce su ma ɗan Najeriya da rawar da za su taka musamman ma masu farcen susa wajen sauya dabi'a su ta fifita kayan da ake shigarwa kasar da gawaje akan na gida saboda a cewar su babu kasar da kan ci gaba tana mai dogaro da kayan aro Ibrahim Isa sashen Hausa na BBC Abuja Najeriya to akan wannan matsala ta karawar hawhawan farashin kayiki a Najeriya wakilin mu na Kano Zaharuddin Lawan ya tattaro mana ra'ayoyin wasu yan kasar gaskiya dai ana fama kan da hawhawar farashi kawai dai abin da zamu ce sai dai mu yi ta addu'a lamarin nan da yake faruwa daga wajen shugabanni ne in kuma daga Allah ne dai duk dai addu'a da ya kamata a ci a yi wallahi komai yayi tsada yanzu wallahi bredi yayi tsada indomi ta yayi tsada wallahi kan shago ma yayi tsada mu kan mu masu nema ma wallahi muna gani yanda muke ciki wallahi ai muna cikin tsadar rayuwa wallahi gaskiya wannan tsara sai dai mu ce inna lillahi wa inna ilaihi rajiun saboda mu dai talaka ba mu san inda zamu ci usa kanmu ba ka kawo amfanin gonan naka an karya an sai hi kuma lokacin da zai tsada a fito ma da hika da tsaya mu dai wannan sai dai mu ce inna lillahi wa inna ilaihi rajiun zaman yin farme shayi ma ga gare mu yanzu na ga kasha shayi yanzu no ne kofi daya kofi daya ne ra dari ya ishe ka kuwa ina ga ina shashi ma tsalalau ba ba madara a rayuwar da ake ciki ta yanzu wannan taliyar yanzu da muke ci ta yara kamar yanzu muna cinta a farashi kamar 200 amma yanzu ta kai 300 har da wani abu ma saboda haka yanzu in ka ci ma ba za ta ishe ka ba saboda haka yanzu tsada da muke ciki ta rayuwar nan ta yi wa shugabanni ya kamata a ce ko kawo mana sauki ku ji tsoron Allah da ya mu a matsayin mu na magidanta a wannan kasa sai dai mu ce inna lillahi wa inna ilaihi rajiun domin abubuwan da ake gudanarwa na harka ta cikin gida yanzu ya gagare duk wani magidanci abin da zaka je ka siyo da a gida ka siyo yara abincin da zaka da fada na 500 yanzu sai kani mai shi wajen sama da naira dubu fi da wani abu to wallahi tallahi akwai gidaje da dama a yanzu abinci wallahi ba sa iya wadatarwa da ƴaƴan su a wannan wasu kuma barace 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 ma sai ka fito wasu wajaje da ban wanda wallahi kafin ka samu abincin shi kansa na bare ya zama sai dai inna lillahi wa inna ilaihi rajiun wasu yan najeriya kenan da wakilin mu zahardin lawan ya tattauna da su kan hawhawan farashin kayayyaki a najeriya to yanzu ga wannan sanarwa ra'ayi riga kowa da irin tasa a wannan makon ne aka yi ranar yaki da ciwon suga ta duniya ko yaya girman cuta da yake a kasashe irin su najeriya a yanzu zamu iya considering din a yanayin da muke da najeriya a kashi 100 zamu iya cewa almost 40% suna tafiya da ciwon suga a jikin su ma ba su sani ba wasu kuma sun sani wasu kuma already dama marasa lafiya din shi menene ciwon suga wadannan mataka ya kamata ku dauka don kare kai wadannan na daga cikin batutuwan da zamu tattauna a filin mu nan ra'ayi riga na wannan makon to ma dalla goba juma'a da maraice idan Allah ya kai mu zamu kawo muku wannan shiri sai ku aiko da dan takaitaccen ra'ayi ta hanyoyin da aka saba da haka a gogo muke cewa karfe 8 saura minti 16 a Najeriya da Niger bakwai saura minti 16 a gogon GMT Umay Masani Abdul Mu'min ke gabatar da shirin hantsi daga nan sashin Hausa na BBC kuna iya zuwa shafin mu na bbchausa.com domin karanta wasu labarin da muka wallafa To a cikin shirin an ji cewa wani binciken BBC ya gano yadda wani babban jami'in sojojin Burtaniya ya riƙa boye bayanan hujjojin zargin aikata laifukan yaki a Afghanistan. Batun biyan haƙƙin kudaden fanshi wani al'amari ne da ke jefa ma'aikata da suka yi retire a cikin Aquba a Najeriya wannan al'amari kusan a kowace jihar ta kasar 
ana fuskantar sa sakamakon yadda yan fanshi ke fama da talauci a bay bay na jihar Lagos masu karban fanshi sun gudanar da addu'o'i da azumi domin nema Allah ya shiga cikin lamuran su inda suka kira ga gwamnatin jihar ta inganta da karfafa dokokin ta na fanshi ga dai wakilin na Lagos Umar Shehu yan leman da karin bayani ba dai boyayen al'amari bane game da mummunan hali na tagayyara da ake samun kusan mafi yawa daga masu karban fanshi a fadi Najeriya bincike yanuna kasare bayan cikar wa'adin aji a aiki da kuma yi retire su ma'aikatan suna da fatar gwamnati tana biyan su kudin fansho da gratuity cikin lokaci da kuma dace to sai dai biyan su wadannan kudade na zuwar takura da kuma fuskantar kalubale when this contributive pension scheme was introduced the staffs were not carried along it was forced on us until a samu na shiga wannan tsari da a ce an tafi da mu lokacin aiwatar da wannan shiri da mun zauna da gwamnati mu yanke shawarar da me za mu yi kawai an tilasta mana shiga cikin shirin bayar da gudunmuwar fansho abin da gwamnati ke ba mu masayin fansho zambaci the money that they are giving to us is suicidal kudaden da suke ba mu naje kar ka mutu ne ba biya kananan ma'aikata komai ba abin da aka biya mu bai kai abin da zamu sarrafa shi a gidajen mu ba duk da kodafin matsalar fansho a jihar Lagos tana kan gaba wajen samar da ingantaccin tsarin kula da masu fansho bisa la akari da tadirin kudin fansho a kasa da kuma koyawa ma'aikata dake dab da yin retire koyon sana'o'i duk da haka masu karbar fansho na kira da a cire duk wani tarnaki dake haifar da matsaloli sai kan kudin fansho kana a cire al'amuran fansho daga ma'aikatar horar da ma'aikata ko da yake a jihar Lagos mai yawan mutum sama da miliyan 21 da kuma take samun kudin shiga daga haraji sama da naira bilion 60 to amma a cire masu karbar fansho kudin da ake ba su bai taka karaya karya ba kamar da ake samu a sauran jihohin Najeriya jihar Lagos ma dai na da irin nata manyan matsaloli wadanda masu karbar fansho ke cewa akwai bukatar a yi wa tsari makomasu kan biyan fansho tankai da rayaya god is only the hope for pensioners in lagos and in nigeria Allah ne kawai gatan masu karbar fansho a lagos and nigeria sai dai idan sashin shari'ar zai matsa lamba don aiwatar da dokar da kuma yawa masu karbar fansho yaki bil haki mambobin kungiyar yan fansho ta najeriya reshin jihar lagos a ƙarƙashin sabon tsarin bayar da gudumar fansho a makon jiya sunni mi ganawa da gwamnati babu jiri san walu kan halin da yan fansho ke ciki a jihar idan akwai abin da suke nema daga gwamnati shine kawo gyara cikin tsarin biyan fansho da karin adadi bisa la'akari da yadda ake fama da tsadar rayuwa da kuma da gwamnati jihar lagos a ciwar su ke samu da kudi masu yawa daga haraji to ko me yasa duk da ana biyan wannan kudi na fansho amma kuma suke zanga zanga because of the way the country be eh domin halin da ake cike a kasan dai yadda abubuwa suka tabarbare kai yake sun yi tsada kuma nau ne kudin fansho ka fara daga kudin haya kuma idan kana son daukar hanyar gida dole ne ka biya shekara 200 amma kudin fansho ba zai iya taimaka wannan ba abinda ya kamata gwamnatin jihar ta yi shine ta yi karin kudin fansho idan akwai wani babban abun tsoro dake damun masu karbar fansho a jihar shine da suke samu rahotanni motar mambobin su kusan 10 a kowane wata sakamakon sarkakkiyar dake da bayi da kudin fansho we agree that in the next two weeks they will start getting the result from us gwamnatin jihar lagos ta hannun a folabi a yuta yake nan inda yake tabbatarwa ga masu karbar fansho cewa gwamnati ta yi alƙawarin waiwaye da warware matsalolin da suke da nasaba da karbar fansho kasa da makonni biyu masu zuwa to sai dai abinda masu karbar fansho da gratuity ke cewa shine idan za a zo da wasu tsare tsare da manufofi akwai bukatar a yi tafiyar tare da su domin kuwa sune wadanda wadannan matsaloli suka shafa kai tsaye to madalla a ganshi ka Umar Shehu in leman yanzu kuma ga Habiba Adamu dauki da labaran kasuwanci da na tattana arziki yan kasuwa a Najeriya na kokawa kan ci gaba tashin farashin kayan abinci hakan na zuwa ne yayin da hukumar kididiga da kasar ta ce farashin kayan masarufi ya tashi zuwa kashi 27.3 cikin 100 a watan Oktoba da ya gabata sakamakon hawawa farashin kayan abinci Isa dan masani wan dan kasuwa ne a kasuwar Funtuwa ta jihar Katsina da ke Najeriya ga abin da ya sheda mini gaskiya da farashin kayan ta ayi wata nan gaskiya abin sai tsara hawawa yake kullun ta Allah farashin inda muka sai kaya ai da muka je muka sauka muka sai da sun zamu koma kamfani muka sauka yin abubuwa yana taruwa a kayan abin ta abin da yafi farashi gaskiya kin kafa ta mu irge ya da tsara ga ta zo amma dai gaskiya ita ne shadan mutaki da kin kafa ce suka ji kuma kuna ma ita ma ta daga kuma mu hukuma yadda za mu so sai mun ƙara kudi a yadda za mu so aka to ya kasuwa ana samun fitan ana samu haka ai da zaka so kane yadda zaka dan samu yadda zaka fitar da yadda zaka dan samu to ba wani riba ka ce sai dai kawai abin da ka riga ka taba kana kalle ba yadda za to a cin Burtaniya kuwa farashin kayayyakin ne suka sauka sosai a watan Oktoba da ta gabatan 
lambarin da aka alakanta da saukar farashin makamashi alƙalar masu nuna cewa farashin ya sauka zuwa kashi hudu da dugo shida a cikin dari sauka mafi karanci a shekara biyu gwamnatin kasar ta ce ta cika alƙawarin da ta dauka na rage hawa farashin zuwa rabi na kashi 11 a cikin dari a bara hukumar tarayyar Turai ta bayar da shawara haramta demon da kasar rashi ke samarwa hakan na daga cikin sabbin takunkuman tarayyar Turai ke shirin dora rasha a watan janairu mai zuwa saboda yakin da take yi da Ukraine a bayar da takunkuman da aka dora rasha sun hada da na haramta zinaranta da iskar gas da kuma kwal duban ma'aikata na masana'antar sarrafa tufafi a Bangladesh sun koma bakin aiki bayan sun kwashi makonni biyu suna zanga zangar neman karin albashi mafi karanci masana'antar dai tana da ma'aikata fiye da miliyan 5 kuma mafi yayawan su mata ne wadanda tsadan rayuwa ta shafa matuka sun yi watsi da tayin gwamnati na karin kashi 56 cikin dari a gaida Habiba Adamu yanzu kuma ga Muhammad Abdu da labarin wasanni jama'a barka mu da anzi barka mu da wannan lokacin a jiya hukumar kwallon kafa ta Turai UEFA ta kaddamar da kwallon da za a buga ga saccin kofin nahiyar Turai wato Euro 2024. Kwallon da yana dauke da launin farida yawa da dugo-dugo, dauke da sunayen dukkan filayen da za a yi wasannin da kuma biranen da za su karo bakunci za a fara ga saccin kofin nahiyar Turai daga 14 ga watan Yuni zuwa 14 ga watan Yuli 2024 a Jamu. Yau ne kuma za a ci gaba da wasannin cikin rukuni don neman tikitin shiga ga sarta Euro 2024. Cikin karawar Georgia da Scotland, Estonia da Austria, Azerbaijan da Sweden, Cyprus da Spain, Bulgaria da Hungary, Montenegro da Slovenia, Luxembourg da Bosnia, Slovakia da Iceland da Nile Centre da Portugal. Tun da tawagar Portugal ta kai gurbin buga ga sarda za ya bada jamu. Union Berlin ta kori kocin ta auspicia bayan da kungiyar bata ta karwar gani a kakar bana. Kungiyar ta kasa cin wasa 14 sannan ta koma ta karshen teburin Bundesliga. A cikin watan Yuli 2018 Fisha ya karbi ragamar horar da kungiyar wanda ya kai Union gasar Bundesliga a 2019 a karan farko. Yau ne Super Eagles za ta kara da Lesotho a wasan farko a cikin rukuni na uku. Domin neman gurbin shiga ga saccin kofin duniya da za a dubi bidiyo 26 a Canada da Mexico da kuma America. Najira wadda za ta buga ga saccin kofin Africa a Bada Africa Coast. Za ta buga wasan na idan an jima a Uyo dake jihar Akwai Bom. Ibrahim Musa ku sauci ne shugaban hukumar kwallon kafan Najeriya. Kuma kamar da ka sani insha Allah duk abin da ya kamata mu yi na ganin cewa mun yi da shirye-shiryen da ya kamata na ganin dubba mun ba yaran dukkan goyon bayan da ya kamata da kuma abubuwan da suka kamata don ƙara masa ƙwarin goyowa na ganin cewa mun fara wannan gasa wannan takara a cikin nasara mun yi kuma muna fatta insha Allah bisa ga addu'o'in Najeriya insha Allah za mu fara nasara kuma abun da rage abun da shine mu ci gaba da addu'a kuma Allah ya ba mu nasara wa'annan wasatu insha Allah Shugaban hukumar kwallon kafan Najeriya Ibrahim Musa Gusau kenan to ko yayin Najeriya ke hangen wannan fafatawar tunana Usama Star yau wasan da dami mu Najeriya insha Allah mu mun san kawai wannan wasan mu taka ne kawai mu wuce sabida da kaman yanda coach din mu ya gayyato a jikan yan wasa daga kasashen Turai kokarin da suke yi sosai sosai a team din su na waje to balantana ce sun zo gida kan sai abinda sai abinda kawai muka gani amma insha Allah wannan wannan wasa kawai insha Allah damu shi damu nasara kawai sunana Abdul Latif wasan da dami yau mu na Nigeria bani da karfin guwa sabida matsin mu na baya mun yi mad da Mozambique an ba shi red card ma a hakan amma da kyar muka ci tuwa ne a kusan karshen lokaci ma muka ci gaskiya matsin da dami yau bani da karfin guwa a sunana Alhaji wanda aka fi sani da dan darman soro wannan wasa da zami yi in Allah ya da muna da karfin guyon zami nasara sannan kuma wannan nasara da zamu samu shine zai nuna cewa mun shirya fa shi zamu ci kofin da za a yi na Afirka na next in Allah ya yadda a sunana Alhaji Diop to wasan da zamu buga da yau dai ga mu nan dai ga mu nan dai duk da dai kasar Italy sota da zamu buga wasan da su su ma ba wasu shahar ruski da shi ba amma dai kula da irin yan kwallon da su file gita kira wanda za a zo ai wannan wasan da su ba wasu jaje da su bane ba su da wani gogewa an bar asalin wanda muke ganin su ne asalin ƙarin ƙarfin mu an kira wasu da to amma dai da mu je dai gashi nan dan sai abin da ake kai wasu magoya bayan super eagles kenan 
cikin rukuni na uku da take hadda Afirka ta Kudu da Benin da Zimbabwe da Rwanda da kuma Lesotho sauran wasannin neman shiga ga sarkin kofin duniya da za a buga idan an jima yankin Afirka Burundi da Gambia Botswana da Mozambique Masar da Djibouti Gabon da Kenya Algeria da Somalia Sudan da Togo Cuba da Angola da na Morocco da Eritrea Kungiyar dan bita kasa reshen kudan dan bai za ta nada shugaban ta na reshen jihar Nasara wannan Najeriya ranar Lahadi a marabar yanya wato Antifa. Hakan ya sa aka ta na di manyan wasanni na gasa da kuma na tayar murna. Na tambaye Idris Umar Bambarewa sarkin yakin masu gidajen dan ba Najeriya shin ko wadanne dan batawar za a yi ranar ta Lahadi. Wasan shahararren yaron nan dan Aliyu na Arewa da shi da Bahagon Ali Kawaji a dambe na biyu kuma garkon kurma rabe shagon ibola sai kuma dambe na uku autan na aisha ba hagon autan mamman sai kuma dambe na hudu a ramadan garba ramadan da shi da yar mage ai dambe na biyar kuma alim ba ta isanka shi da ba hagon yan sanda sai kuma shagon lawali da shi da boloko dambe na bakwai a garkon dunan bata jemu ba da shi da shagon sanin gidan dan kande wasan da zamu yi kenan a ajon wato mai girma wasai soja wanda za a karrama shi za a bashi shine shugaban supporter na kallon dambe na jihar Nasarawa Najeriya gaba daya wanda mai girma a laitako director shine zai wannan nadi idan Allah kai mu ranar Lahadi Idris Umar Bambarewa kenan sarkin yakin masu gidajen dambar Najeriya bar kuma na karkare da sakamakon dambar da aka buga filin wasa na Halera Abdu a birnin Kebbi da ke jihar Kebbin Najeriya cikin manyan wasannin da aka buga an ci an kallo bayan da aka tashi kare jini biri jini tsakanin Esco Naji Mama da autan mai bulala a turmi bi da suka yi wasan cirki na dan rajau da garkon kurma shi ma turmi bi suka tashi can jaras yayin da sa zare tsakanin dan tashi farin wata shakallo wato autan na Aisha da garkon bagon yan sanda tashi suka ba wanda ya je kasa kai ga yan dan biyar rauni targade karaya Allah ya kare to madalla a gaishe ka Muhammad Abdu anan kuma ko mutun sulhu na majalisar dinkin duniya ya zarta da wani kudiri dake kira a dakatar da fada a Gaza cikin gaggawa kuma na tsawon lokaci dan a bada damar shigar da kayan agaji ga Buhari Muhammad Fagi da wannan rahoton Amurka babban kawar Isra'ila ta ki amfani da damar ta wajen hawa kujerar naki a yayin taron ko da yake ta soki kudirin saboda ya gaza yin Allah wadai da haraharan Hamas da ta kai kudancin Isra'ila a ranar 7 ga watan Oktoba. Linda Thomas Greenfield ita ce jakadiyar Amurka a majalisar dinkin duniya. I'm horrified that a few members of this council still cannot Linda ta ce na kadu da yadda wasu kalilan daga cikin mambobin wannan committee suka kintir da harin ta'addanci da Hamas ta kai a kudancin Isra'ila a ranar 7 ga watan Oktoba. Komai suke tsoro komai ce fargabar su ta kin Allah wadai da aikin kungiyar dan ta'adda da ke san karar da Yahudawa wadda take kashe fararen hula shi ko wakilin Isra'ila a majalisar dinkin duniya Gilad Aden cewa yi kasar sa na amfani da dokokin duniya yayin wannan yaki da take yi ko da yake ya samu kalubalanta kai tsaye daga Ben Sol wani wakili na musamman na hukumar kare haƙin dan Adam ta majalisar dinkin duniya kuma farfesa a fannin dokokin duniya a jami'ar Sydney wanda ya ce akwai bukatar Isra'ila ta gabatar da hujjoji kan inkirarin da take yi na kare fararen hula da marasa lafiya a asibiti we just don't know the basis of israel's claim